International corporate volunteering. What is it and why is it an important element of corporate social responsibility? Over the next few minutes, I'll answer both of those questions. But first, let me tell a quick story. A significant problem in the developing world is the transmission of HIV from HIV positive mothers to their children. This accounts for nearly a half a million HIV infections every year, 90% of which occur in Sub-Saharan Africa. The good news is this is highly preventable. The bad news is for HIV positive mothers, they don't know the approaches to prevent this. To help address this problem, Robin Smalley co-founded an organization called Mothers to Mothers in South Africa in 2001. This organization seeks to build awareness among HIV positive mothers of the various ways that they can prevent the transmission of HIV to their babies, both during pregnancy, uh, during childbirth, as well as during breastfeeding. This organization has tremendous passion, it has a great mission, but it had some critical gaps in their ability to actually execute because they didn't have financial management capabilities, they did not have accounting capabilities, and basic HR management capabilities. To help address that critical gap, Pfizer sent employees to South Africa to work closely with Mothers to Mothers. Over the course of three to four years, they sent nine different employees to work with Mothers to Mothers, often months at a time. And these employees had uh, deep expertise in areas that they had gaps in, so financial management systems, accounting systems, uh, human resources practices, and communications. The work that Pfizer did resulted in nearly a uh, million dollars worth of free services for Mothers to Mothers. Today, Mothers to Mothers is a $16 million organization. They employ 1,500 HIV positive mothers to work on this issue and they reach 2 million HIV positive mothers per year in their outreach efforts. This is an example of international corporate volunteering. Um, international corporate volunteering is an important approach for companies to use their most valuable assets, their people, to address both social and business impact. We conducted research on international corporate volunteering because 40% of major corporations send their employees overseas to do volunteering. CEOs should ask, what is the return on this monumental level investment, both for their business but also for society? So the headline is, in our findings, leading corporations are moving from what would be called traditional volunteering to high impact volunteering. And that really has two components. The first is leading corporations are increasingly identifying strategic business reasons for engaging in international corporate volunteering. This could be things like stakeholder relations, in, uh, engaging with critical customer segments, or engaging with your supply chain. So for example, Starbucks used to send its employees to Sub-Saharan Africa on Earthwatch expeditions. But they asked themselves, what do lions in Africa have to do with coffee? So now their program sends their employees to Costa Rica to the coffee cooperatives from which they source their coffee. So they have a direct linkage to their supply chain. The second component of high impact volunteering is that leading corporations are really leveraging their, uh, their corporate resources such that there is a higher impact per hour volunteered. So what does this mean? This is skills-based volunteering, take, taking the professional capabilities of the employees and bringing them to bear on social issues, but also leveraging philanthropic resources and other corporate resources to help with that volunteering effort. So for example, BD, the medical device company, they have sent their biomedical uh, scientists to work with labs in Ghana and Zambia uh, to help improve the functions of those labs. But in addition, they've sent uh, you know, philanthropic resources as well as their medical supplies and medical uh, devices uh, to help with those uh, labs uh, operations. So those are the two components of high, high impact volunteering, strategic business motivations and high leverage. As we look to the future of international corporate volunteering, I have three thoughts. First, corporations need to move beyond a go it alone strategy and really think about working side by side with other corporations as they seek to address social problems. Secondly, there really is room for increased integration of international corporate volunteering efforts with the existing global development efforts on the ground. So whether it's uh, the World Bank or the U.S. Agency for International Development, DFID, PEPFAR, et cetera, there are a lot of organizations that are working on addressing Millennium Development Goals. And international corporate volunteering can really integrate much more closely with some of those efforts. 
Thirdly, scale remains much more of an aspiration than a reality in international corporate volunteering. IBM is the largest player that we've seen. They send about 500 people a year in their uh, global service core, it's called. But the majority of the corporations we've looked at are sending less than two dozen volunteers per year, and many are sending only one or two. So those are some of the headlines of our research. If you're interested in learning more about some of these case studies, or learning about some of the guidance that we provided to corporations to either develop or improve their programs, I encourage you to check out the white paper that we wrote. It's called Volunteering for Impact, Best Practices in International Corporate Volunteering, which is on FSG's website. Thank you.